Welcome back with the gyms closed for a while again. We need to make sure all of us are doing our hard work to make sure we're working out right. So don't go waste it. We have Felicia here to make sure that we don't waste away all that hard work we did for a month yes. at the gym. How right. are you this morning? I'm so good. How are you, Brad? You know what? One, yes. I found out the easiest part was drinking lots of water. Yeah. That was my thing. Yeah. I was like way below my water, so I was mm. getting bloated and everything. Yeah. And I was when you're not drinking enough, your body holds on to it. Yeah. So yeah, you gotta be That's drinking right water. Mm -hmm. And then I started going, okay, what am I gonna work out with? Um, the dog got tired of me picking him up all the time. <laughs> right. You know, moving right. furniture got boring and stuff. But right. I love what you said is that, you know what, for just a little bit of money, right. you know, maybe even since some of the gyms have taken a little hold mm -hmm. on your membership, you could take that money and get a gym right in your yeah. own house for right now. Yeah, a lot of questions I get is, wow, the gyms are closed again. What are some of the basics that I need for an affordable home gym that I can just pick up, you know, at Target, Walmart? But one thing that ha that people have been running into are they're having a hard time finding bigger pieces like yes. a kettlebell or a dumbbell. So there's, you know, stores here in the Valley, played again, sports, secondhand I was stores say, that I found this kettlebell there. Yeah, so check them I, out. Okay, I want you to go to, to, ready? Come here, where's the camera? Which one am I gonna take? Let me, give me, a, give me one of them right here. I'm gonna tell you where to go, okay? Uh, we'll just take this one here. Okay, you're gonna wanna go to the uh, played again yeah. sports up on 32nd Street mm -hmm. and Thunderbird, okay? okay. That's a little hidden secret there. That's yeah. what I'm going to get in a few little stuff because yeah. they have it in there. And then they order it for me too. Uh -huh. So they're really what we're here to help out. Oh, absolutely. And you know, I wanted to kind of show you an affordable home gym, the essentials that you should be picking up for a home gym. Now cardio, I know cardio's tough. It's so hot outside yesterday, what, 116? Yeah. We're not running outside. We're not going hiking. So uh, jump rope. Right. Just a basic jump rope is going to get your heart rate going. Great for cardio, 30 seconds to a minute. Maybe rest a little bit and do it again. You want to maybe go on and off for 10 minutes. You are having an awesome cardio session just with this jump rope, and you can have it right at your house. I like that. Um, and then a lot of the bands. Bands are super essential. When you uh, these are portable, easy. When you don't have the resistance of the dumbbell, these are just as good resistance. You're going to get the same sort of effect. Obviously, a little bit different, but better than nothing. Okay, so let me ask you, there's different color bands, mm -hmm. and they pretty much tell you what the weight is, the strength on those, right? Yeah, yeah, generally the darker the band, the heavier the resistance, okay. and the lighter the band as it gets into the yellows, and it's gonna get a little bit easier resistance. Okay, Yep. Right. So pick like a moderate resistance. I would actually have a variety. Okay. Um, I love these mini bands, because these are great that you can do uh, pretty much anything with them. Yes. You can do Last upper body. I was, I was doing the... Yeah. You could so do legs, that right you there. could do upper body, you could do back, you could do biceps, literally so um, versatile. And then glute band, you know you wanna build your booty. Yeah. So this is awesome, you put it right here and you can do side shuffle, glute kickbacks, things like that. Um, but I do recommend if you're gonna be building your home gym, you have at least one or two pieces of a heavier equipment. Okay. okay. So I have this kettlebell here, 25 pounds. And the reason for that is sometimes this stuff gets a little easy. We want to be able to challenge ourselves and right. kind of mimic a little bit of what you would get at a regular gym. So bigger pieces of equipment, one kettlebell or maybe one 25, 30 pound. I know it's scarce out there, but if you can find one, it's better than nothing. So um, uh, why the kettlebell? Why is everybody going after the kettlebell? What is it? Just I love the kettlebell. There's so much you can do with it. You can do lower body, the weight, the way the weight's distributed. It's just really good for just overall full body workout. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, they're, they're really great. And then I'll, I'll get a lot of core with that, too. Right. Um, and the reason I have the speaker here is when people work out at home, what I hear so much of is, I'm not motivated. I'm not motivated. I'm at home. But when we have a space set out in our house, you see the speaker, you see your mat, you have the weights. When it's out of sight, out of mind, we're not going to do it. Keep it out there so that you can see it every day. So it reminds you, wow, I should, yes. I should maybe get in a 10, 15, 20 minute workout. Right. As you trip over it, going yeah. through, you know, walking <laughs> right. around the house, just right. leave it out there for everybody to see. Leave the it out there. The leave their toys out, yeah. leave your equipment out. Yes, so you That's can it do right it. There. Yes. So, okay, you have been training a lot of people online, which mm -hmm. is kind of neat, and I know that you actually built a little training center in your house. It's yeah. kind of cool to watch you on social media. So. What are some of the things that you've been uh, really finding people needing while they've been trying to get back to the gym? Honestly, movement. Um, it, you know, I don't want to like stress people out, like you gotta be working hard, out hard every day. Movement, stretches, getting off the couch. I know a lot of us are kind of in that state of like sitting on the couch watching Netflix or maybe at home working on the computer. So just getting up and doing basic stretches like on the mat, a downward dog, you know, a plank, um, stretching, stretching movements, things like that are gonna be super, super helpful for people who are at home at home maybe feeling bad about not doing things. Yeah, I get my Fitbit. I know you have your Apple Watch on, mm -hmm. which I have set to 
tap me when it's time to get and do my 250 I love you know, steps and stuff. Yeah. And then I start to stretch it, even here at work. And yeah, great. create the routine. Add it to your schedule and get it in. Love it. Felicia, where can they find you? At Felicia Romero on Instagram. Um, you can DM me. I get a lot of questions, and I put a lot of workouts on there as well. So I do. Yeah, and I'm getting fit thanks to her. All these people, yeah. I love it. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Felicia. Bye, guys. Thank you. All right.